one. Greetings. Welcome everyone. Dorsey's Resource. First, before we get started, I'd like to give a disclaimer. This video is for informational, educational, and entertainment purposes only. Please understand everyone's individual circumstance or situation may be different. It's up to every individual competent person to please do his or her own homework and research into the matter being discussed. This information is not to be construed as legal advice. In the event you need to seek a competent professional, it is encouraged that you do so at one's own leisure. Dorsey's resource is not liable or responsible for any misuse of this information. These are simply my thoughts and opinions on the topic. With that being said, all rights are reserved. Now, I want to thank you guys for joining me. The topic of this video is going to deal with um, the uh, radio talk show host, uh, Alex Jones, uh, the InfoWars site was taken down today, uh, Tuesday, 8-14. Um, there was only like a couple other videos I saw so far. Uh, I saw some people, um, they're still talking about the, uh, the ban that's happened, what ramifications that this could mean for other content creators, and uh, even other big name people down the line that speak truth uh, or real news, what they're trying to label as fake news. But actually, uh, there is truth to uh, alternative media. I would have been a listener of this show for quite some time. Uh, I can't remember the exact years. I do follow other um, websites and, and channels as well, so I cross-reference information to show uh, that I'm coming from a well-balanced perspective. But I want to speak on this. He also, as of uh, yesterday, Monday, uh, 8 13 August uh, the 13th he was uh, removed what I found out from uh, Vimeo uh, I believe his uh, account was uh, taken down so this appears to be another coordinated attack so today Tuesday earlier today sometime after one o'clock I received I just found out um, after I got off uh, the phone uh, earlier today around the evening time but his uh, website was uh, when I went there uh, after I found out was actually down but it still had these links that worked. now I remember that he stated his site was hit before because there was a guy that does a QAnon video that tried to say uh, Alex Jones is a government shield uh, paid agent I don't believe that that's uh, true he's saying that he staged his own site to go down but uh, with the other recent bannings it doesn't make sense because he has two other sites uh, he was directing people to go to uh, so uh, just keep that in mind. I believe Prison Planet is the one I can only I can think of. That's the only one. There is another one uh, that he's got. He was mentioning. He was directing people to, and um, there are lawsuits that I hear would have been going on behind the scenes, not just against Alex himself, but he's also suing or counter suing because uh, the media. I noticed the so-called mainstream media has made up a lot of things. Now, for watching his show, I can give an honest critique. Uh, I'm also being of African American descent, or to some people being considered black, melanated man. I'm coming from already a diverse background uh, from critique. I follow many different types of uh, channels and I read the news articles from mainstream media as well as alternative media. Um, so keep in mind, and, and then I want to say on the record, this video is bipartisan, uh, which means I'm, I'm coming from a neutral perspective that I'm not a personally I'm not a registered voter I have good reasons uh, why I'm not y years ago I was at one time I voted in the election in 2000 when uh, Gore lost to uh, Bush uh, there was a big controversy behind that election reminds me of the 2016 election with Trump and Hillary then uh, I voted again back in 2004 this was just in the primaries it wasn't the main mayoral election uh, in the city of Detroit for uh, at the time Kwame Kilpatrick who went down with the scandal but I found out some things that year that was a major year that I actually woke up to some information uh, from a sister who I found out from a friend of mine he stated that she would mention this at the meetings she was a former Detroit police officer and uh, she was speaking to a diverse audience of black people African Americans about the uh, sovereign movement or aka redemption movement it was my first time I had heard about the classes but I wanted to go there actually find out 
Uh, and it was people from many different diverse backgrounds that would, would come and just get the information. People from corporate America, I would see them wearing either their Ford Motor Company or their Lear badges. Uh, then there was women with children who would come and just receive the education. And she said, the first thing you all need to do, she said they used to train the Detroit police officers on how to deal with sovereign citizens some years ago. But there is some critical information that is real. And she said, the first thing you all need to do is cancel, get rid of your voters registration. So that's a whole nother topic within itself. That's not what this video is about. But uh, I would probably do and I'm working on doing a separate video. I do have notes just like I do now. But this video is about the Alex Jones channel, uh, which you are many of you already know. He's been banned from Facebook. Uh, there's a big purge from uh, YouTube, uh, Spotify, at least some of his apps was removed, uh, Pen Interest, there's some other sites I can't think. I didn't even know he was on all of these different uh, platforms, but he's been deplatformed. Uh, some people said, even people that I've noticed that have channels that don't even agree with his political views have expressed their opinions. This is very concerning. I've even heard professors from uh, collegiate various Stoop College universities even weigh in on this because I remember uh, years ago I was taught, uh, I can't remember specifically, but I do know I had teachers go over this uh, in high school and college, uh, freedom of speech. They said the only thing you specifically couldn't do was yell fire in a movie theater, but I had teachers go over that even if you don't necessarily agree with someone's political views. Now there is a balance on between uh, where sites have to regulate what they deem as hate speech. Um, however, it's a slippery slope because there's people that mention there's channels out there that's been around on YouTube for a while that have far worse content than Ali Jones' channel, I mean, that shows graphic things. There's even things that deal with uh, hardcore, like sexual content and stuff they've allowed to be up, and people that curse and use profanity profusely on a very consistent basis and i can say alex jones in comparison to these other channels was pg-13 now he may say some things that people don't agree with however uh this is in my opinion and other people have spoken out uh like i said very astute professors and people with uh very credible backgrounds have said that this is a, a violation of free speech a first amendment right this is also a violation of antitrust laws uh, as well, this is also torturous interference when one media organization such as CNN and other uh, groups out there lobby to try to have another media organization shut down. And they're even going as far as I hear sabotage his payment processors. So this is real wicked. Like These people that are on the left or notice Democrats and remember, I'm not actually affiliated with any party. I didn't vote in the previous election, but I'm just giving my critique uh, bipartisan or whatever, but just going over that they claim to be very diverse and um, and not tolerate bullying, but this is actually a form of bullying that they're doing to Alex Jones. And this is a form of discrimination, like they've done this to Diamond and Silk. And he isn't the only one that has been banned or removed from YouTube. I noticed there was some other names like Mike Adams, the health ranger. He actually had a big following. He was removed actually before Alex Jones without no reasons at all. YouTube took his channel down. He allegedly found out they said it was something uh, scientific that the establishment didn't agree with or whatever. And they just didn't even give him any strikes, just shut his whole channel down. Uh, Mike Adams, the health ranger, believe it or not. There's some other ones. Tommy Sotomayor, who was like a, a popular YouTuber out there, has had his channel attacked many times and taken down. And he's had numerous channels. Uh, so there's other people that have been banned and some of these individuals have moved to other platforms or even started their own uh, platforms, web hosting platforms themselves that um, welcome free speech and a diverse community uh, and things. So there's many of them like now I can't even keep up because I, uh, down the road I had already mentioned I didn't plan on being on YouTube forever, God willing. I have a busy schedule if... Um, you know, I'm able to continue with discussing this type of information in this vlog that I have. But to further go over, um, you know, I did go over the, these. There's going to be counter lawsuits because this is definite violation of antitrust and the evidence behind that. Some out there may argue the people that don't like Alex Jones, they're cheering like, yeah, he's all, you know, we don't we never wanted him on there. And they're actually lobbying to Twitter, which is the only major platform 
that's supposed to be mainstream social media that allow him to stay on there. Uh, when Jack Dorsey's own words, one of the CEOs of Twitter stated originally he didn't violate any of the rules, but then they came back and detracted, I think, from a lot of the pressure and stated, well, they found a couple videos that did, but they specifically removed just those videos or uh, news feeds that were post or tweets as they call them that violated the rules and this is what YouTube could have done with Alex Jones channel they just removed all of his videos instead of specifically just removing the ones that were offensive so this shows you that there is a bigger agenda at play and the reason they are breaking the law of evidence that I hear for example with President Trump was blocking uh, trolls and a federal judge I did hear when this came out in the mainstream media had ruled that Trump cannot block, uh, even though these people were trolling, uh, he cannot block these people because the post was some type of public utility. They admitted this about Twitter. And this is why some suspect why Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, Twitter doesn't want to get hit with this countersuit uh, violation, obviously, because the federal judge, you know, actually ruled, you know, against uh, Trump that he couldn't block these people because these social media sites are actually public utilities now they do have rules with hate speech but there is a fine line between that and they could have specifically even youtube as i mentioned to reiterate just could have removed the videos that were specifically in violation and i know they have a strike system because they some months back they stated they removed some of his videos but then they re they restored his channel after he got three strikes but they wouldn't explain uh the reason why more specifically, this is a coordinated effort and uh, some other information I received uh, as well that there's two people separately who may have been uh, behind Jones uh, being banned. There's one guy, he has uh, connections with uh, this site called Salon.com and I believe his name I just discovered, I don't know too much about him, his name Jared Holt. Or something like that they say he takes credit there's another youtuber who did a video about this that said he took credit for lobbying to have jones shut down uh and i do know cnn uh, considered this a threat which is a form of torturous interference uh i don't know how high up that other guy is as a media organization that's registered but that would be a violation uh dealing with torturous interference when you're trying to lobby to have another media outlet organization or someone voice just uh, silenced and, and sabotaged just because you don't like them or you don't like what they talk about. And uh, there's another guy also here, of course, many people are familiar with the uh, CEO of Apple, Tim Cook. I don't know, but I just heard allegedly that he's someone else that has uh, been doing business with the Chinese and Trump is also in a trade war with China trying to break up these monopolies because I do know I had a, a teacher back in high school, uh, you know, some years ago that mentioned this was here in Detroit. I went to a school called Cooley and my chemistry teacher mentioned uh, his name was John Miranda, uh, went over how these corporations have sold, uh, sold our country out and shipped jobs overseas. Uh, economics is called outsourcing uh, for, for cheap labor and things where instead of hiring uh, actual Americans, uh, they want to cut costs and in turn, uh, they're still selling their products here, but uh, they move these companies overseas. And I even hear that allegedly that Tim Cook in China, there's some things going on with the Apple factories where there's slave labor going on. There's information you can look up because I do know the Chinese some years ago, they didn't want this information to get out. Uh, the uh, Manchurian people, basically, that's the other name for the ethnic group uh, in general didn't want the uh, the execution vans to get out how they had uh, forced well, labor camps over there for uh, so-called political dissidents who uh, disagree because they are still under communism and their organs were being harvested and they were trying to cover this up. There's like a big documentary. It still should be on YouTube. I don't remember the name of it, but you can watch it for free. And then the international uh police or interpol found out and other countries lobby and the chinese are still i hear this is still going on to this day that you know very wealthy people are involved in these organ trafficking rings they'll just have someone executed so this sets a bad precedence to just be able to just go after or target anyone just because they don't like their 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 speech or what they're saying so this is very very dangerous 
uh, and this is why even other YouTubers who don't even get along with Alex Jones, I, there's sincere people I know that do not like him but spoke out. And I saw many of the comment sections and said, this is wrong and this is why this is a very slippery slope. And this is, uh, I just had to do my part as a listener and sharing the information. This is uh, also an update that his site was taken down. His other sites, Prison Planet, and uh, I can't think of the other name of the other one that's new, that that is still up. He's redirecting people. But if you still do go to Infowars.com, it has, uh, I noticed, a direction to take you over there. But they say, I remember some months back uh, before he's going under where he said his site was hit by a bunch of uh, allegedly a bunch of hackers or people with malicious intent uh, coming from the deep state or the, the criminal cabal real high up that don't want his information being shared or put out there. Uh, so they've attacked his site, um, you know, and, um, you know, I'm just basically sharing the word. This is the latest. And I just wanted to bring the news to you guys. Uh, this is a. Uh, you know, Dorsey reporting on behalf of Dorsey's resource. I did give a disclaimer. Uh, so this video was for uh, informational awareness and educational purposes only to keep you guys informed as far as what's going on uh, and give my critique and weigh in on the situation. There's more I could say, but I'm going to get ready to shut it down right here. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, you hit, hit the uh, subscribe link and click the bell to receive updates whenever i put out new videos uh, also don't forget to thumbs up and uh share this video and uh until next time i want to thank you guys uh for joining me at dorsey's resource until next time take care